Welcome to Proving PR Works. In this brief presentation, we're going to show how you can track and measure the effectiveness of public relations in simple and effective language that the boardroom can understand without resorting to spurious forms of measurement such as advertising value equivalents. Although it's become a bit of a cliche, the fact remains that consumers now wield tremendous power over brands. So listening to and understanding what they and other stakeholders are saying about your brand and organisation on social media is crucial. But there's another reason why this is very important. Because consumers use social media 24-7, they're providing invaluable feedback on everything you do. And because this is consumer-generated media, by tracking and understanding it, we are, by definition, tracking and understanding consumer views, opinions and behaviour in response to your marketing and PR campaigns. Crucially, this applies to all activities, regardless of whether they're online or offline. As a result, we can track response to traditional public relations and marketing activities just as well as we can for digital campaigns, enabling us to measure them all in exactly the same way. And of course, we're doing this by listening directly to the consumers and other stakeholders you want to reach through your PR and marketing activities in the first place. Incidentally, Spectrum Insight gathers all of the data needed for the analysis and makes no charge for it in any way. So you can be sure that our focus is on delivering the best insight we can that represents the views, opinions and behaviour of your consumers rather than wasting any of your time or money on anything that isn't required. We'll show you an actual example of how this all works after briefly looking in a little more detail at collecting the data. A key feature of online and social media is that they capture and reflect consumer views, opinions and behaviour, often in real time. People tweet about an announcement they hear or read about, an event they're attending or an ad they're watching on TV. They comment about the brands they like on Facebook and they post their views and opinions about an issue they feel strongly about in response to a blog. The end result is an in-depth record of what consumers and stakeholders experience and feel about a brand as they go about their daily lives and business. By capturing and analysing this incredibly rich source of publicly available information, Spectrum Insight can track and evaluate consumer views, opinions and behaviour on a 24 by 7 basis. And because we do this every day for some of the world's leading brands and organisations, we know just how powerful public relations can be. At last, the PR industry can prove its effectiveness based on genuine consumer and other stakeholder outcomes without resorting to the dreaded AVE, or Advertising Value Equivalent, or any other spurious form of measurement. Let's now look at a real-life example to find out how we can do this. To look at how we can compare the effectiveness of public relations directly with advertising, we're going to use the Sainsbury's 140th anniversary campaign. The great thing about this particular example is that it enables us to directly compare the TV advertising that took place as part of the 140th anniversary with PR activity for the same anniversary just a few weeks later. In addition, the PR campaign for Sainsbury's 140th anniversary wasn't just about media relations. All too often, measurement and evaluation of PR focuses on media coverage alone when it's about much more than that. And that's another great thing about this approach because it enables us to track and measure all PR activity with advertising and every other form of marketing communication. Of course, marketing programs don't always have PR activity following advertising in this way. But that doesn't matter. What we're doing with this example here is showing you how our approach works. Exactly the same principles always apply regardless. There's clearly a lot happening on this particular slide, which represents data for the Sainsbury's 140th anniversary activity. But that just reflects the reality of integrated campaigns. Don't worry, we'll explain very simply what's happening. So let's make a start in early May. This is when the advertisement for Sainsbury's 140th anniversary first aired on ITV1. You can see how much online and social media activity was generated by the advertising from the peaks on the purple line. Now let's turn our attention towards the end of May, when the Sainsbury's 140th anniversary activity took place using public relations. This coincided with the bank holiday weekend. What's immediately obvious from the size of the peaks is just how much greater consumer response was to the PR activity 
compared to the advertising earlier in the month. We'll talk about how we can track and measure the content of consumer reaction to campaigns such as this through online and social media shortly. But first, let's look at another vital piece of data that confirms the effectiveness of public relations for this particular example. One of the great things about good creative public relations is how it can generate consumer interest from the most unlikely of sources. And when Sainsbury's claimed during its anniversary celebrations that it was the first supermarket to introduce the avocado to UK consumers, the scene was set for a fierce battle with rival M&S, who counterclaimed that it was the first retailer to do so. We can't tell you who hurled the first fruit, and yes, apparently the avocado is a fruit, but we can reveal the impact it had on consumer behaviour. Here you can see the online and social media coverage generated by the avocado wars over the bank holiday weekend. Now let's superimpose that with consumer search for the Sainsbury's brand over the same period. A PhD in statistics is hardly needed to see the correlation in this instance. And it's interesting to compare consumer search for Sainsbury's resulting from PR over the bank holiday weekend with searches at the start of the month. Recall that this was when advertising for the 140th anniversary aired, which resulted in no discernible lift of consumer consideration. PR professionals know there isn't any truth in the old adage that all publicity is good publicity, and with online and social media able to spread a negative message across the world with the click of a mouse, it's essential for all brands and companies to listen and understand what's being said about them 24-7, ideally on a global basis. Given the vast volumes of online and social media and speed with which messages can be transferred across and through them, the only way this can be done is by using what's commonly known as automated analysis. Automated analysis has gained something of a bad reputation for being inaccurate, but that isn't actually correct. The problem is that the vast majority of automated analysis used by PR and marketing professionals comes in the form of one-size-fits-all tools. It's not difficult to see that a one-size-fits-all automated analysis tool isn't likely to be accurate across different brands, let alone different sectors, but that's currently what's happening. Spectrum Insights approach is very different. We customise automated analysis for every brand and even for individual projects according to what's needed to meet a client's specific brief. We carry out the automated analysis using our own specialist analysts who also interpret the findings. The result is in-depth evaluation that can reveal highly valuable detailed insight, most of which would simply not be possible using any other method. And crucially, we can provide this in near real time on a 24 by 7 basis. We know that our system works because we test it against the toughest form of validation there is, the consumer. In fact, we consistently achieve remarkably high levels of significance above the standard 95% used by market research companies. You can find out more about our automated analysis system and why it's far superior to human analysis by visiting our website, details of which are given at the end of this presentation. In summary, our analyst-driven automated systems can robustly track and evaluate large volumes of content more accurately and in much greater detail than humans. And as a result, we can carry out much more in-depth sentiment analysis, enabling our clients to understand what lies behind positive and negative messages and why these are developing. One way we can do this is by looking at the emotional response of consumers based on the type of words they're using. For instance, there is a massive difference between consumer anger and consumer fear. Traditional methods would simply score both of these in the same way, but our analysis would identify and highlight the difference, with major ramifications for how PR and marketing professionals should respond. To summarise, all PR and marketing activities, whether online or offline, make an impact on social and online media. You can think of this a bit like a stone thrown into a pond, with the ripples that spread out from where the stone hit the water. By capturing and analysing this effect, Spectrum Insight can determine the relative impact of PR and marketing activities on consumers and stakeholders. We can track views and opinions, and also behaviour, 
such as influencing consumers to search for a brand, typically using Google. In fact, Google search is a good measure of consumer consideration and correlates strongly with sales for many brands, as this chart shows on the left. Thank you for listening to this presentation. We hope you found it useful and indeed that you'll contact us. Here are the details. We'd love to speak to you and very much hope that you'll be in touch. Once again, thank you for listening.